Okay. Joe and Dave are here. Uh, yes, yes I hey. Myself yeah. again. <laughs> Hi, Rachel. Hey, Hi. hey, Rachel. Hello, hello. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. Let's see. I don't know. For some reason, that's weird. It's not allowing me to show my screen. Hmm. I'm gonna pass it back over to you, Rachel. Uh, let's make it Rachel. seems to be uh, have you there. It, it's just it not showing your screen, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna try it again here. There we go. And there it is. Oh no! You it's should scary. see it. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Rachel, this is uh, my good friend uh, John Kramer. I don't know if you know John, um, but uh, he's uh, he's a legend. Um, and uh, John, this is uh, Rachel Rofe. Rachel uh, is also a legend. Uh, so. Uh, cool. it's, uh, yeah, it's good to to be working with uh, with, with you, Rachel. I really, really appreciate you putting this together. And uh, kind of hard for uh, Rachel and I to work with a non-legend. Well, that's exactly right. And uh, well, <laughs> I have I have minimal <laughs> ego, so it 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 works out just fine. Uh, you are her legend, also. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Uh, so. Um, we're uh, we're ready to go whenever you are, Rachel. Um, you just uh, start, or do you want me to start the broadcast and then, or or how do you want to do it? Oh, either way is um, completely fine with me. I don't mind starting. I'll just, I guess, give you guys an intro and then you'll and then hand it over to me, and then and then I will I'll uh, you intro me and then I I will intro uh, John. Okay, so don't say anything about John. Okay, then I'm just going to quickly edit that. Okay, and then. I'm I just the great that. secret. You're the great secret. Okay. Yes. <laughs> quickly rewrite something. I just got back from Croatia today, and right before the webinar, I hit like a wall of energy, so I'm not thinking very clearly. So I have to write out some thoughts so I don't completely blumble. But here, I'll start it in one sec. Um, I okay, love cool. Dubrovnik. You guys ready? I am. Let's do it. I haven't been there yet. I want to. It's a split. Awesome. Split's awesome. Right. Beautiful. Love split. Yes, it was crazy gorgeous. I had no idea how awesome it was. Oh my gosh, yes. It's such a it's such a cool country. <laughs> oh yes. All right. Let me get this started here. Chat more soon on that. Love. Hey everyone, thank you for being here. If you can hear me, please just type in yes. Awesome, great, thanks. So many of you are on, awesome. Um, we have some really, really great training. You guys probably know I don't really usually do kind of webinar trainings, but when I heard about this one from Daniel Hall, who I've known for many, many years, I really trust him. And I saw part of his training. I thought that you all would really enjoy it. So um, we have Daniel here who is going to uh, get things started, maybe give you a little bit of insight into a secret weapon he has here. And um, you'll get some really, really good information tonight on how to get more traffic with Pinterest. So uh, Daniel, are you here? I am here. Yes, I am. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for coming and for taking the time to do this. I know that people are going to get a lot out of this because I've seen the training. I know that it's super helpful. So thank you for taking the time. Absolutely. It's a, it's always an honor or privilege to uh, get to work with uh, you and uh, your community, Rachel. Um, and I really do think that that you will get tons of massive, massive benefit if you pay attention to uh, today's presentation. So um, uh, I shall I shall take it away. Right? Uh, are you ready for me to do that, Rachel? 
Absolutely, go for it. Thanks All right, let, let's let's jump in. I will tell you though, if you've never been on a webinar with uh, me or uh, my business partner John Kramer before, uh, get ready to strap in because uh, we do give you lots of immediately usable content in today's presentation. We are here live with you. Okay, so we're actually going to be doing quite a bit of uh, interaction and engagement with you to get so that you make sure that you get the most out of our time here today. Uh, I will also tell you that the, the broad concepts are easy to understand with what we're gonna be chatting about today, which is basically how to use Pinterest to sell more of whatever it is you're selling. And these broad content, uh, br broad ideas, these broad concepts are, are super easy to understand. Now, here's the wrinkle, here's sort of the rub in this, that oftentimes the profit is not in the broad concepts. The, the profit are in the subtleties, in the nuances, and those subtleties and nuances are easy to miss. So I want this to be a really good use of your time. So if you will go ahead and, uh, and turn off anything that might distract you from, from one of uh, one of these subtleties, one of these nuances, and I'll be, try to be pointing them out as I go. Uh, but if you could turn off Facebook, your cell phone, you know, your email client, anything that that might distract you, uh, because again, I don't want you to miss something that's that may actually make the difference between you being profitable with what we're going to teach you, and not profitable. So with that, uh, we're going to be chatting about Pinterest profits or getting your piece of the $11 billion annual share economy, cashing in on what uh, John Kramer and I like to call peer-to-peer -peer social tokens. Now, a part of actually teaching you this is actually going to be revealing a somewhat controversial case study on how we were able to take just one graphic on Pinterest and drive over 168,000 free clicks and counting, okay, to just one of our websites with just one graphic on Pinterest, okay? So uh, that's what you, that's what's in store for you here today. Now, before we go uh, much further, I just wanted to do a very brief introduction of myself and uh, my partner, John Kramer. Uh, I'm this guy. My name is Daniel Hall. I'm a best-selling author, publisher, uh, speaker, nurse, attorney, and podcaster, and creator of the Real Fast brand of training products. I am mostly the MC here. Uh, the star of the show is my good friend, John Kramer. Now, John is an expert in book publishing and just in marketing in general. And he's also the author of A Thousand and One Ways to Market Your Books and is known as the grandfather of book marketing. And it's not just me that says these great things about John. In fact, uh, Mark Victor Hansen and Jack Canfield, the co-creators of the Chicken Soup for the Soul series said, if you wanna sell 600 million books like we have, read and use John's book. And even Stephen Covey said, John Kramer was instrumental to our success in making The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People one of the two most influential books of the 20th century. Now I know you're all saying, well, that's all well and good for John Kramer. What the heck does this have to do with me? The only, way I, the only reason I start off the presentation by telling you this is so that you understand the level of marketing acumen headed down the tracks at you right now. So accordingly, get ready to take lots of notes, okay? Now, the other thing I said earlier is that we're here live with you and we custom tailor each and every one of these presentations, including today's. So I, you and I are gonna be chatting quite a bit here today. And I have my very first question for you. And I'd like for you to go to the questions box right now and, and type in what you are currently selling. Are you selling a book, a physical product? Do you have affiliate offers? Do you have an Amazon, Etsy, eBay a listing of some kind? Let me know in the chat what it is you are selling now, and this is super important, what I'm about to say right now, and include a link to your offer, 
Okay, whatever, what, if you are going to send me to go buy whatever it is that you are selling right now, put that link in the chat and I'll tell you why. Because a little later on in this demonstration, we're actually gonna choose one of you and build an entire Pinterest funnel for, for one of you. So you've gotta be here to be chosen and of course be here to, um, to get the benefit of that. And uh, while just one of you will be chosen, everyone else can model and emulate what we teach, which is how we've designed this. So if you would get that, uh, that link to what you're selling into the, uh, into the chat right now, there's a little white arrow, excuse me, a little white arrow in a red rectangular box immediately adjacent to the form field that you see right now. So just kind of type it in there, whatever that field, uh, whatever that thing is. Okay, great. Thank you so much for that. And I see all the responses uh, coming in here. Lots of Etsy sellers, lots of folks with uh, 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 stuff on uh, Amazon. Excellent. Wonderful. This is great. Now, let me ask you, now that I have a much better idea of what it is you're selling, let me, let me ask you this question. How are your sales going? Uh, I would like for you to respond to that by putting either a one in the chat, if your sales certainly could be better. Maybe you don't have any sales quite yet. You're, you're kind of getting ramped up, but no sales so far or very few. If, that's, if that speaks to you, if that re reflects what what's you're experiencing, put a one in the chat. Put a two in the chat if you're seeing sales but they're just not nearly as frequent as you would like to see them. And you would definitely like to see an increase in your sales. Put a two in the chat if that describes you. And of course, put a three in the chat if you're just doing really, really well and you don't really feel like you need much in the way of marketing help. And I'm seeing all the one, 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 two, two, one, one. Uh, total noob, says Ke uh, Kevin. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, excellent. One, 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 two, two. All right, excellent. Thank you for that. that. Again, this helps us to custom tailor this so that you get the maximum benefit out of our presentation. Now, for those of you that answered one or two, which was, by the way, uh, most of you, I didn't see one, three, understandable. But for if you answered one or two in the chat, I think that you and I can agree that you have a fundamental problem. And that is not enough people are seeing your offers. In other words, not enough people in the market demographic that you are serving know that you even exist or that your offers exist, right? So let me ask you this question. If you had automatic demand and instant momentum for your product, for your service, for whatever it is you're selling online, do you think that would help you? Just put a yes or a no, or lots of times I get a do or a duh in the, in, the, uh, in the comments when I ask this question. If you had automatic demand and instant momentum for your offer, do you think that would help you? And of course, the yes, 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 lots of yes, oh yes is Nancy. Absolutely, awesome. And I agree with you. And if that is what you're looking for, then I believe we have a solution here for you today. And that is in harnessing what John and I call the share economy, the share economy. And let me give you some examples of companies that are characterized by the share economy. Um, first off, this is first and foremost, peer-to-peer -peer help and service. And usually when we think of companies that participate in the share economy, we think of companies like Uber, Airbnb, Lyft, TaskRabbit, and others. So let me ask you this before we actually go on to the next step here. Have either you used one of these services or know of a friend or family member who has? Uh, let me know in the chat. If you, have you used Uber, Airbnb, Lyft, or know somebody that, that has? Just so that you have a general idea of, of really kind of what we're talking about when I talk about companies that participate in this share economy. Okay, great. I'm seeing, looks like so, most of you understand that. Awesome. Now, um, when we sat down, that is John Kramer and myself, sat down to actually look and evaluate social media platforms against this definition of a share economy company, 
we thought, hey, our initial knee-jerk reaction, our initial sort of thought was that all social media platforms participate in this share economy. At least that's what we that's what we started out thinking. However, on closer inspection, uh, we learned that that wasn't the case at all. In fact, when you look at most of the large social media companies out there, for example, Facebook and Instagram, in order to get any significant exposure, you must pay. It is definitely a pay to play environment. I mean, I bet you you've already experienced when you have put something up on, posted something on Facebook and not even all of your friends saw it. You know, uh, you've got to pay to actually get more eyeballs on whatever it is you're posting on uh, on Facebook. And, and the same goes to Instagram, which by the way, I don't think really reflects sharing. You know, it's, it's great for, it's a great business model uh, because that's what Facebook does. It sells eyeballs, but not really a part of what I call the share economy, which brings to mind Twitter. And I love Twitter, nothing wrong with Twitter. And you could certainly retweet or that's definitely sharing on, on Twitter. But a big problem with Twitter is that the half-life of a tweet is only 24 minutes. So said another way, basically that means that half the people that will ever see anything that you put up on on Twitter will they'll, they'll see it in the first 24 minutes and then it very quickly drops off thereafter and it's only going to your followers. So unless couple things, unless you have a huge following on Twitter, number one, and number two, you are constantly engaging with them four, five, six times a day, tweeting, tweeting, tweeting. For the most part, as a marketer, it's not worth sharing there, okay? Especially if you are interested like John and I are uh, in set it and forget it types of um, funnels and income streams. Which brings to mind our last big uh, of, of the big sort of social platforms, LinkedIn, and once again, you could definitely share content on, on LinkedIn, but most of it is shared within professional groups and only with your connections. So all four of these, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, these are all pay to play. They, they, all, they, they all want to take your money so that they could show your stuff to more people. Once again, not really a part of the share economy. And in fact, as we really sort of focused in on all of these, these social platforms, there is really only one company that, that actually participated in the share economy. And that company is in fact, Pinterest. Now I love Pinterest and a couple reasons for that. Um, our number one is that any post you make on Pinterest can be seen by all Pinterest users. Not necessarily that it will be seen, but at least it can be seen. And the other cool thing about it is it can be easily be found even years later. So I want you to think about Pinterest much the same way that people think about YouTube, okay? Because YouTube and Pinterest are very archival in nature. For example, maybe you started putting up your first video on YouTube back in, I don't know, 2007. Well, that video, it's still findable and still watchable on YouTube today, most likely. Well, the same thing holds true for Pinterest. Something that you put up on Pinterest today, it is likely to be, be able to be found years later because it is archival in nature. So when you add these two things together, the fact that all Pinterest users can see what you're posting and they could be found years later to the fact that the whole backbone and culture of Pinterest is in sharing or what Pinterest calls repinning, you start to see the just the awesome power of Pinterest from a marketing standpoint. So now that I've kind of given you a thumbnail introduction to Pinterest, let me let me know from you in the chat, do you currently have a Pinterest profile um, or a Pinterest account? So we got yes, 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 some no's, yes indeed, awesome. 
Um, somebody just said uh, personal, but not business. We're, we're going to uh, be changing that up today. Awesome. Lovely. Yes, but barely used, says Elizabeth. Wonderful. No, no, says Kevin. Okay, great. So here's the deal. What Pinterest truly is, and I want to start with this sort of definition as a baseline, as a, as a foundation, so we can all, we're all sort of building together. Pinterest is like an online bulletin board, okay? So I'm sure you've had an offline bulletin board, like a cork board with thumbtacks, and you kind of put up pictures and notes and so forth. Well, that's essentially what Pinterest is, but it's all online. So it's mostly for collecting visual pieces of multimedia. I mean, you could put up things like uh, YouTube videos and cinemagraphs and animated GIFs, but for the most part, for the most part, it is mostly about static images, you know, JPEGs and PNG files and, and GIF files and, and those sorts of things. Now, here's the other thing I love about Pinterest. And you need to, this is one thing you need to asterisk in your notes, by the way, what I'm about to say right now, because people go and use Pinterest and what makes it so doggone powerful as a marketer is that the active users on Pinterest use it to discover and save new ideas, okay? That's why people use Pinterest by and large. Pinterest is, asterisk this in your notes, a search engine, okay? So I'll give you an example of how I personally recently use Pinterest to discover new ideas. I right now am in the process of, of redecorating my wife and I's master bedroom. So what did I do? I went to Pinterest and I typed in four keywords into the search engine, engine that is Pinterest. I typed in master bedroom redecorating ideas, those, those four words, and it literally returned page after page of really beautiful images that did in fact give me great ideas of what to do with my own bedroom remodel. So I want you to then fill in what your what your niche is, whatever that happens to be. Maybe it's golden retrievers. Maybe that's your niche. You maybe you d design mugs and and t-shirts uh, for the for the golden retriever audience. Okay. Well, the really cool thing on Pinterest is, regardless of your niche, that these ideas can take lots of forms from recipes to renovation projects to to you know winter gardening to uh to surfboarding to you know just about anything under the sun and each one of these ideas is represented by a pin so from here on out by the way when i use the word pin in context of this particular presentation i want you to think image so an image is a pin and a pin is an image on uh, on Pinterest. Now, a pin always includes some kind of image, but it can also include a description and importantly, a link back to the image's source online. Now, that's so important that I've actually underlined it in red here because that's where the great power of Pinterest is. So that when people click on a link on Pinterest, you could actually take them off site to your Etsy store or to your Amazon listing or to your blog, wherever that, you know, wherever you want to send them so people could act on that particular um, pin or, or image. Okay. So that's essentially what Pinterest is. Now, what I want to do now is uh, just for br very briefly actually take you through and show you how to pin and repin or how most people pin and repin anyway we're going to show you some other uh some other cool things uh here as we do this as well but before i actually show you how to pin and repin i want you i want you to direct your attention here uh, to the top right hand corner where, where you see where it says real fast results so i've got a I've got a podcast uh, called the realfastresults.com podcast. Rachel did a wonderful interview, by the way, uh, with me on that particular podcast. But the thing I want you to understand is that you can name your Pinterest profile anything you want. 
essentially. So it does not need to be your proper name. It could be the name of your business, the name of your brand, the name of your book, the name of your product, okay? Your catchphrase, whatever it is you want to, to, to name it, you could put it in here. It could be, for example, um, this could say Rachel Rofe, millionaire maker. It could say that, you know, it could say coach to the stars or whatever. So again, you could put anything you want in, in this area right there. Now, the other thing, and this, this applies to the males of the species, like myself, um, the males of the species. You will note I've got a picture of myself with my, with my gorgeous wife, Lynette. And I've done that for a very particular reason, because most of the active users on Pinterest are female. About 70 to 80% of the active users on Pinterest are female, which by the way, from our standpoint as marketers is really great news because in our society, in our culture, mostly the females make the buying decisions. They make the decisions on how the money gets spent. Great news for us. However, what has been reported is that some uh, some folks will hit your profile page, and if they see this creepy-looking male looking back at them, they'll take off. They won't engage with uh, with you or look at any of your boards or anything. They just they're just gone. So what I'm saying is to mitigate that risk if you're a male, and put a picture of you know you and your your spouse, your lover, your best friend, your aunt, your daughter, uh, a stranger. I don't care as long as it's you and a female, okay? And if you're female, you're good to go with just your own uh, picture. Okay, so that's the first thing I wanted to show you here on uh, on this. Now let's talk about um, repinning first. I wanna, I wanna show you repinning here first. Now, I love fast, fancy cars. Um, so one of the one of the fast fan the, probably my next purchase here will be this car here, this Porsche Macan in white. That's the that's the next car I intend on buying. And so I spend a lot of time on Pinterest looking at this uh, at this beautiful automobile uh, that I intend on buying. So and I kind of dream about it, put it on a little wish list. I actually have a board, a uh, a bulletin board on Pinterest called My Dream Cars. Where I pin where I pin these, so I'm actually show you that. So I don't think I've actually um, pinned this one. So let's go ahead and pin this. Now, when I mouse over this one, you see this uh, this image in the top right hand corner. Uh, as I mouse over this, it actually gives me a suggestion on what board to pin this to, and it's saying, "Hey, you want uh, to pin this to your dream cars board?" I do, in fact, want to do that. But before I do, I'm going to show you here that it's it. It, um, if I just hit the little drop down menu, I could put this on uh, any one of these eligible boards that I belong to. They're, I either own them or I'm a member uh, uh, of a group board that gives me privileges to, to pin to the group board. So in this case, I'm gonna put it on my, uh, my dream cards board. So we're gonna, gonna, we're gonna save that right there, just like that. And so it just got saved to my dream car. So let's actually click over there. And there's the image right here. Now here's the really cool thing. Um, I'm not sure where uh, this, the URL for that goes behind this, but I do wanna show you that this is, um, that this is clickable. This image is clickable. In fact, let me click on it right now. I'm not sure, I think it's gonna take us to car.revs.daily. Let's click on it and see where it takes us. Yeah, and it does. Cool. So it takes us over to another site um, where I can learn more about, you know, it looks like somebody's blog on, you know, car blog and whatever. Cool. What, whatever. I mean, if you're a blogger, Pinterest makes so much sense. Um, so that's essentially how to repin. And what's so important about repinning, by the way, is that about oh, 85% of all activity on Pinterest is in the repin. In other words, what most people do is they come over here to Pinterest, they type in what the, whatever they're interested in, okay? And they um, they start looking for, uh, you know, those pictures that, that you know, tickle their fancy, uh, that they are, that they want to engage with and uh, to save to their board, okay? 
Um, now, the other thing that I want to do right now is show you how to pin from the beginning. Um, and I'm going to do that by going over here to one of my blogs, danielhall.name. And I've, um, I've done this, this, uh, this image right here that um, I'm going to teach you how to, to make a little in a little while. But this image right here. So I am the author of this book called Real Fast Writing, uh, which basically appeals to the author market. Uh, in the content producer market. And uh, so I wanted to start promoting my book, Real Fast Writing via uh, Pinterest. So I did this pin uh, that, and it's basically a quote graphic from Elmer Leonard. If it sounds like writing, I rewrite it. And so I, I designed this, I posted it to my blog. I did about a hundred word post here. And if I wanted to pin this bad boy, I would just click the little pin button right here, click save. It should open up a, a dialog box for us here, and it does. So let me open that up so that you could see it. And once again, it gives me all of the places where I could pin this bad boy. Now, I belong to a number of group boards. You know a group board, and we're going to talk more about this a little later on in today's presentation, but you notice there's a, this little, this little two-person icon uh, underneath there. That, that denotes that I, this is a group board. So I'm going to actually post this to one of my group boards related to uh, publishing and or authorship. So I belong to a lot of those types of boards. And uh, the lesson for you here is, is that re uh, regardless of your niche, there are people on Pinterest that are into it, okay, that that um, are, have held up their hand and said, I'm interested in, you know, writing and in, in, in authorship and in publishing and in, in so forth. And that's really great news for us, once again, as marketers, because they're doing that in all sorts of niches. So I'm actually going to add it to, I'm going to add this pin right here to this pages and in ink group board that I belong to. So let's go ahead and save that. And um, we're, let's look at it right now on that particular board. And here it comes. So I've now saved this pin to uh, this particular group board, which I want to remind you is highly targeted to uh, to the pin. The pin is highly targeted to the group of people that I'm actually presenting it to. In this case, people that are interested in uh, pages and ink and writing. So what happens when I click this bad boy? Well, in my opinion, magic happens because when I click it, it takes, it takes them back over to my blog and you're saying, well, so what? Well, so what? The fact is this is a money site. Uh, people could sign up for for my email list. I'm primarily an email marketer, so I'm always looking to add to my email list. The other thing that's really great about it is people could actually buy my book on this site as well, okay? So that is pinning and repinning. And so I, and even if you've done that before, I wanted to start there so that we are all kind of on the same page with how that look. Now, the really cool thing from the standpoint of Pinterest is that Pinterest is the only platform that actually encourages users, that is you and I, to organize our boards dedicated to what we're passionate about, what we're interested in, and it's visually stimulating and fun to browse. In fact, it's been reported that people would rather browse Pinterest than actually um, watch television. And the first time I heard that, I said, you know, that's malarkey. That's just a bunch of horse hockey. But the more I thought about it, the more I said, well, of course that's true, because at least with Pinterest, you can, you can engage with the, the exact kind of content that you're interested in and that you're passionate about. Now, the other thing that I really love about Pinterest that makes it completely different than so many other uh, social medias is that, it, uh, is that it makes it easy, that is Pinterest makes it easy to add a clickable link just about anywhere you wanna take them. There, there are some uh, caveats to that, but just about anywhere that you wanna take people, you can take people off of Pinterest. They have no issues with that and take them off to another site. Which, by the way, I will just highlight right now because we get the question all the time, well, what's the difference between Pinterest and Instagram? 
Well, try clicking on an image on Instagram and try try to get off someplace, right? It just, they don't make that easy at all. You've got to find the, you know, you've got to find the profile and find the link within a profile. It's it's a mess. They don't make it easy. Pinterest makes it easy to click on the image and be taken off somewhere else. And the other thing that really is so cool about it, and again goes right into the whole sharing aspect of it, is it actively encourages users to share pins and repins. Think about this, think about this. There would be no Pinterest without the ability to share pins and repins. And of course, you could then link your offers on those shared images so that they get shared over and over and over again and could literally generate clicks for years. In fact, I have an image on the screen. If you're not looking at your, uh, your computer monitor right now, come check it out because this, <clears throat> this image I think does a really good job at demonstrating the exponential sharing that can go on on Pinterest. Now let's say this person is you and because you're one of our students, you know how to turn out a really high quality, super engaging image for Pinterest or a pin for, for Pinterest. So you pin that image. These people here recognize good quality stuff, and they're also interested in the same niche. So they take your, your image and repin it. This happens like literally hundreds of thousands of times a day on Pinterest. But, but the cool thing is it just gets bigger. It starts mushrooming because the, the, the people that follow them, they could repin the repins and on it goes such that you get all of the clicks back to you. So anytime and every time your image gets shared, your link gets shared with it, okay? So you get more eyeballs on your offers. And of course, you could potentially make more money. And also, I want you to understand that's essentially all on autopilot. This is not one of those things where you have to do it over and over and over and over again. You do it once and you let it work. OK, that's one of the reasons why John and I love this so much. OK, now what I'd like to do is and again, I want you to understand that this whole idea of social sharing, especially uh, when it kind of kind of goes uh, exponential like that, makes so much sense when you understand that the average pin on Pinterest, the average pin is repinned, according to Shopify, who actually studied this. 11 times, okay? We're gonna show you how to be way above average in, in doing your pins, but if you if you just consider the average pin is repinned 11 times, it makes sense that you are going to have some outliers once in a while, um, which is one of the things that happened to us. So what I'd like to do now is actually bring John Kramer back on. Um, and, and John, can you take folks through our case study of the Bob Harper skinny rules graphic that kind of kind of opened the door for Pinterest uh, for us. So, uh, John, can you uh, can you show folks that? Yeah, Daniel. I when I started with Pinterest about five and a half years ago, one of the uh, images that appeared in my uh, timeline was this skinny rules graphic, black and white. You know, talking about the basic twenty rules on how to get thin from Bob Hopper, who at that time was part of a host of The Biggest Losers. And, you know, I said, okay, I like the rules. I think they're reasonable, uh, but it stinks. The graphic stinks, you know, because black and white doesn't work very well on Pinterest. So I made it better. I put a pink border around it. <laughs> you know, <laughs> that to me was better. Um, amazingly, you know, I blogged about it. I pinned from my website this uh, pink bordered uh, graphic and in the next month I got 40,000 repins of that graphic and hundreds and hundreds of people coming to my website and I'm going whoa if I'm getting that kind of traffic from this ugly graphic what if I made it prettier so what I did is I took the colors of the actual book blue and yellow made a taller thinner graphic again the 20 points are there and I pinned that, and it's that graphic that got, in the next two years, 1.4 million repins and drove 
over 168,000 people to my website. And, you know, to me, that was magic because I pinned it once and the traffic just kept coming. And it's still coming even now, uh, five years later. So to me, that's magic. That's what I love about Pinterest is because you can create, like in this case, a traffic magnet that continues to send you traffic for years. And that's really the magic of Pinterest. So, you know, to me, that's important. It's, you know, it's the power of a Pinterest pin in terms of how it lasts. As Daniel told you uh, earlier, the half-life of a Twitter tweet is 24 minutes. That means that half the people that will ever see that tweet see it in the first 24 minutes. The half-life of a Facebook post is 90 minutes. And I would guess it's even less than that now because this study was done a couple years ago and the Facebook algorithm is actually worse for us now than it was two years ago in terms of driving traffic and showcasing it to people. The neat thing is that the half-life of a Pinterest pin is three and a half months. That's almost 2,000 times more um, time for somebody to interact with your Pinterest pin than with the Facebook post, and over 6,000 times more opportunity for people to interact with your pin than with a tweet. And the neat thing is it's not, I mean, I have tweets that I did five years ago that are still sending me traffic every day, 100, 200, 300 people in some cases. It's, you know, it just keeps sending traffic. And the neat thing is, it's not just that the traffic comes. People click through on your pins and the repins of your pins at an astounding rate. In my experience, anywhere from 2% to 25% of the people that see your pin will click through to your website. And that's where the magic really happens. Users are ready and willing to visit your sales pages your uh, you know, e uh, email sign-up pages and so on. But it's not just that one image that did it. Can you do this? These are typical, what I call typographics. These have all sent incredible traffic to me. In the first two years of pinning these four images, I got 566,000 repins and over 84,000 visits. But the magic is what happened in the next three years on autopilot. 13,000 more visits, 25,000 more visits, almost 22,000 more visits, almost uh, 7,000 more visits for a total of 772,000 repins and 151,000 visits to my website, all on autopilot, including the 66,726 new visits in three years with just these four pins on autopilot. You can already get a look and feel for what kind of pins really do drive traffic. These typographics are magic, and we'll tell you more about them in just a few minutes. So I wanted to show you how fast things can happen. This is a quote graphic that I created about prayer. And I blogged about it, then I posted it to my website, and I pinned it, and in the first 10 hours, 15 people that follow me repinned it. But what was the magic is that 266 people who don't follow me but follow the people that follow me repinned it as well in the first 10 hours. That's the magic and the power of the repin. As Daniel told you, 80% told you, of all pins on Pinterest are repins. That means people are sharing the things that they're passionate about, the things that they love. And the people that follow them if they see something they love, they will pin it. And that's where the magic happens. And it's something that anyone can do. One of our students, Sarah Hathaway, said, my Pinterest and Twitter followers have exploded since I started this program, as well as my blog and website hits. And so it can work for anybody once you learn the magic of and the power of typographics and quote graphics because those are the things that really drive traffic. This is the power of the Pinterest share economy. It's really a peer-to-peer -peer social media platform. It's one of the reasons that over 2 million people search Pinterest every month, because they trust the peer-to-peer -peer social sharing that happens here versus the 
Google algorithm that is some sort of mysterious thing that uh, they think they know you, but you know yourself better and you follow people. And really, you know, that's the magic of Pinterest is that people create boards. They create, um, they let you know what they're interested in and their primary things they're interested in. I call the six Fs of Pinterest, fitness and health, food, recipes and nutrition, fashion and beauty, family, children, and, you know, parenting, anything funny, and then anything with cute animals. And also, of course, inspiration, motivation, design, home decor, crafts, hobbies, beautiful homes, travel, and more. You want to find the keys to a woman's soul, follow her on Pinterest because she's created a board for everything she's passionate about. And the neat thing is that while 80% of the active users on Pinterest are women, and they're magical for that, uh, because they do a lot of the buying decisions, that 20% that are men are more than the subscribers to uh, Sports Illustrated and GQ combined. And they, men, like other things, like high tech. They like cars. They love travel. They love uh, all kinds of uh, sports and nature and so on. And so they share their passion and interest. And that's how you make money on Pinterest, because users browse what they're passionate about on Pinterest to discover new things. Sometimes they repin images of products and content that intrigue them to their own specific boards. And often they will just click through on that image without necessarily saving it to find out more about that image and what it's about. And if they're really interested, they will actually end up buying what you have for sale there. And they buy a lot. And Daniel, I wanted to bring you back on because uh, you know, you shared a story with me about how people save pins to buy yeah. later. So, th yeah, I think I think this is pretty demonstrative of uh, it ba basically woke me up uh, to the the power of Pinterest. I was uh, I was actually out at uh, having lunch with a colleague. We were actually at a at a pizza restaurant, and uh, we had finished up. And uh, she had uh, come out to uh, to to sit uh, on like this bench out in front of this pizza restaurant, and I'd gone back to the the restroom to wash my hands, and I'd come out uh, after her and kind of sat down on the bench next to her as uh, as she was sort of scrolling through with her thumb like people do, you know, with the, on her on her iPhone, and I was like, okay, what you know, what what are you doing? And and she says, oh, well, I'm on Pinterest, and she gets super excited. <laughs> about this she's into jewelry uh, about this about this bracelet that she found by the way it happened to be an Etsy seller and she was like got all excited about it and 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 then she did something with her thumb and like okay and I said what what did you just do she says I just saved this to to one of my boards and when I get home I'm going to go buy this I don't you know I don't feel comfortable taking my credit card out now to buy it out, out here in public but when I get home I'm gonna go buy it and it was like one of those slap in the in the forehead kind of moments for me because like oh this is how people are using Pinterest like okay it makes so much more sense now right that, that this is how folks um are are actually using it and in fact um when Shopify studied this they found some uh some rather interesting uh, data, didn't they, John? Yes, yeah, so they did a study. Uh, Shop Shopify is one of the key suppliers of shopping uh, e-commerce stores on the internet, and they found that the average order value of sales coming from Pinterest to Shopify is fifty dollars, and that that's higher than any other major social platform. And the major driver of online traffic, Pinterest, is number two. Uh, in terms of driving social media traffic to Shopify e-commerce stores. Number one is Facebook ads, but you got to pay for those. Pinterest drives free traffic. Two million people pin product pins every day. 93% of Pinterest users use the platform to plan what they're going to buy. And 87% of Pinterest users have actually bought something online after browsing pins. That is a higher percentage than you'd find in any other social media. And uh, just, just a little sidelight here is Linda, who's on the call with us right now. She said that she was actually on a phone call with a couple of Pinterest employees a couple of weeks ago. And they say that the current half-life of a pin is actually now six months. 
Wow. So it's even longer, more opportunity for people to get involved with you. In my experience, the two most effective kinds of pins that you can create to drive traffic and to drive sales are quote graphics, that's inspirational, funny, and motivational quotes related to your product or service, and typographics. These are the tall, thin graphics that feature five to 20 points plus a product shot, a book cover, or a picture of a person, something like that. The, let's talk about the typographics first. Again, they, think of them as sort of like the shape and size of a bookmark, anywhere from a minimum, I would say, of 300 by 800 pixels on up to 700 and I think it is 35 pixels wide to 2,000 pixels long if you want it to be. So it's a, a wide range there of what you can do, but think tall and thin. I have condensed content from your book if you're a book author like I am, or great tips on how to use your product or service, or if you're writing a blog post and you want to drive traffic to that blog post, include content from your blog post. Use the colors found on your book cover or your product shot or your brand colors if you have particular colors that you're using on your website, a picture of the cover or the product, and then you can, once you upload it, you can link to your Amazon listing if you want to, a product shot, a sell shot, email capture page, a landing page, wherever you want to send the traffic, you can do that. And that's really a magical thing about that. And the neat thing is that Pinterest loves sending traffic off-site, especially when there's good information on the page that they're sending people to. Now, I wanted to show you something that I pinned just recently, uh, the Pixar's 22 Rules of Storytelling. Uh, I pinned that, and in 48 hours, I got over 1,100 repins uh, on that image that quickly, and that's really magic. And in fact, in the first two weeks, I had over 3,800 repins on this one image. And that it doesn't count all the other pins that I've done that have driven traffic in the last month. <clears throat> But you know that's really the magic of Pinterest is that it happens fast and it's still happening. Now I wanted to give you one kind of cautionary note. You know, the I'm talking about the typographics, creating typographics like the one on the right, and not creating graphics like these uh, infographics, these four on the left. They're pretty, but they don't drive traffic for two reasons. One is they take way too long to create. Any one of these four graphics, I bet, took at least two to three hours, possibly two to three days to create. The 18 things high achievers do, I created that in less than 20 minutes. And boom, it was out there creating traffic right away. But more important, 80% to 90% of the traffic on Pinterest is accessed via smartphones. And these tall, thin, um, complicated, infographics are not readable on a smartphone without a lot of manipulation. And if you've ever watched anybody use a smartphone, the last thing they want to do is anything complicated, anything where they have to move around and so on. The 80 things high achievers do, that's readable on a smartphone and they can scroll up and down if they want to read the entire thing. Or more likely what they'll do, if they like the first five points, they will click through to my website, which they do have done thousands and thousands of times for this particular image and read the entire thing there on my website and then go to where you know whatever book I'm selling there or whatever else I'm selling on that particular page. And that's really the magic. You drive traffic and you get people then to buy the things you have on that particular page. The other thing that I have found to be very effective are quote graphics. People love sharing motivational, inspirational quotes on Pinterest, but they like them to look pretty. So you have something like coincidence is God's way of remaining anonymous, over 30,000 repins. Take time to do what makes your soul happy, over 212,000 repins. Nobody cares about your excuses, it's your ass, you move it, 2,500 repins. One thing that's important here to, to look at, you can see that those images with graphics you know, pretty graphics or interesting graphics like, you know, Einstein, get many more repins, many more shares than uh, a plain type graphic. So don't forget that. 
And it can happen very quickly. You know, there's a really neat thing that Pinterest does that I haven't seen any other social network do in such a wonderful way. They will email me three to four times a day sharing new boards, new ideas, new pins, new people to follow. And in this particular case, they sent this to my wife saying, we've got 18 new ideas waiting for you. One of them is this Oprah Winfrey quote, nothing makes me happier than to see other people in their purest moments of joy. And that went, that particular image goes to my book marketing bestsellers money site where people are going to buy things from me. And Pinterest is promoting it. They're sending out emails. I've seen promotions for, uh, promotional emails that promote our students all the time because they're creating great graphics that Pinterest wants to share and wants to alert people to. Try getting Facebook to help you promote your Facebook post without paying them. Uh, it doesn't happen and Facebook doesn't promote emails. The neat thing is, is that, you know, a short squat image like this one on the left doesn't work nearly as effective as a tall, thin, multiple image like this pictographic here on the left or the one on the right that is actually showcasing the car in you know, a setting that makes you feel like, oh, I'm in that car and I'm driving it. Pictographics work really well. Again, tall and thin versus short and squat is gonna be more effective. Multiple product shots with a product in use always work better than a single product shot when you're selling and promoting high priced items on Pinterest. And look at these things here, uh, you know, solar powered uh, charging station, uh, you know, uh, a concept for the iWatch or a beautiful uh, smartphone, you know, doing multiple product shots works much more effectively than a single product shot. And, um, Think of it, this is uh, on the left is uh, one graphic that one of our students created. And I took it and I said, look, you can make it a lot better. First of all, put it in color. Second of all, don't focus on the name of the product. Focus on how it can be used. Get people to hunger for that Weber Smoky Joe grill because they love grilled corn or great grilled pineapple or you know barbecue chicken. And that's what's going to sell. And if you think in that way, you're going to have a much more powerful uh, tool to use in terms of driving traffic to buying that Smoky Joe grill. So this is a question that Daniel loves to ask. I love this question. Yeah, I do love this question. Um, and the, the, the question is this, based on where you are in your, in your business life right now, when do you think would be a good time to start using Pinterest? Uh, what, I, what I want you to do is, uh, is it better to sell on Pinterest uh, when you have a group to sell to, in other words, an existing audience, uh, if you believe that's a good idea, uh, put a one in the chat, or do you think it's better to create your offer and then look for somebody to, to, uh, to sell it to? Put a two in the chat, if, uh, if if that reflects your opinion on, on that. Okay, cool. And we're getting a pretty even distribution between ones and twos, uh, which is the way it usually is. Um, and this is not a trick question, by the way. It, it, it basically reflects kind of where you are in the process. So let me just say that in a, a slightly different way. If you already have a buy button out there, a, a, a add to cart button where people could could go and add your uh, their uh, add your product and go buy your product, then you definitely need to start right now to to start promoting that product. And Pinterest is a great uh, way to do that. And now is a good time to do that. Now, if you don't yet have your offer together. Pinterest is still, the, the time to start using Pinterest is now for that as well, because you can use Pinterest to number one, develop an audience that's interested in your subject matter, in your niche, number one. And number two, you're gonna be able to very quickly determine what's resonating content wise with that audience because you'll start seeing more and more repins and more and more traffic to your site. So 
basically, however you answered this question, you're right. The, but the time to do it is right now. The, the time to start using Pinterest is right now. Okay. Now, here's the other thing I wanted to show you. Within Real Fast Social Graphics, we teach many ways to make money on Pinterest. Now I want to take a moment and actually take you through and build an actual Pinterest funnel for one of you right now. Um, and I want to make sure that this person here, it's an Etsy seller um, by the name of Bell's Custom Design. Uh, 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 Bell's, uh, Carrie, are you, are you here? You've got to be here to win. Okay, Carrie, you're the lucky winner. Okay. Um, so we're actually going to build a funnel for you, Carrie. Um, and um, a couple things that I'm going to do uh, first off uh, that I want to uh, first show you that <clears throat> um, I wanted to show you this site here, actually. Let's bring it over here. This, uh, this is the site I'm, I'm actually going to show you how to use. It's called Canva dot com canva.com and this is i'm going to make a um make a image that we're going to pin for you and canva by the way is free you can get a free account on canva and use it all for free no nope, no issues uh and i love it if you do any kind of design work that this is this is a great thing to to use once you get in here come up to the top right hand corner and click use custom dimensions and then type in um, at least 300 by 800, okay, which is, gives us this uh, this nice bookmark shape uh, image size. So this is where we're going to be building your uh, your image, and <clears throat> we've got uh, different sort of uh, faith based uh, great mugs here. I really like some of these. Um, so let's um, let's look at some inspirational quotes. So let's uh, let go over here and we're going to go faith based quotes okay now i really like this uh this site called uh brainy quote so we're going to click over to brainy quote and see if we've got anything here that we could uh we could use to kind of go with this um uh with, with this sort sort of mug set that you have. Uh, I'm a uh, big, big fan of uh, Mother Teresa and her work. So let's see if this works. Be faithful in small things because it is in them that your strength lies. That's uh, pretty good. I also am a big fan of Norman Vincent Peale. Let's see. Believe in yourself. Have faith in your abilities without a humble but reasonable confidence in your own powers. You cannot be successful or happy. Um, let's see. I believe if you keep your faith, you can keep your trust, keep the right attitude. If you're grateful, you'll see God open up new doors. Um, hmm. I'm not sure about this one. Let's, let's actually go with the, the Joel Olstein quote <clears throat> and I'm just going to highlight it here and then click uh, copy and then come back over here. And then on Canva, I'm going to go to text, then add heading, and we're going to actually hit control V and put all that nice quote in, uh, in our available area here. So as you can see, it's a little too large. So we're actually going to highlight it. I just clicked in it and then I, I hit control A and I'm going to come over here um, and just make this a little smaller. Let's see if we can get away with a 24. That might work. And we're gonna we're gonna basically get rid of all. See, this is good marketing on Brainy Quotes. Anytime you uh, highlight anything and copy it and paste it, that all that comes over with it. Great. We're gonna get rid of that. Okay. Now the next thing we're gonna do. Now that we've kind of we have our quote here for our graphic. Let's actually make this a quote. <clears throat> is um, I'm going to use this little this little software right up here. It's, this is called Jing, uh, the Jing Sun, the Jing, J-I-N-G, Jing Sun. 
Um, and it is a free bit of, of software made by TechSmith, the same people that put, to put out uh, Camtasia Studio uh, free. Just, just Google it, Jing, J-I-N-G. Um, and I'm going to grab one of these. Um, let's, uh, I like this one. This is a great one. So we're going to actually grab this, uh, this, this image right here. So I'm going to do a capture. And it brings up this nice, uh, these, these nice sort of orange crosshairs for us. And I'm going to grab that image just like that. Copy, capture that image. And we're going to put ins, inspire cup. And let's uh, add that to my desktop. Okay, now I'm going to come back over to Canva and then upload this bad boy. And let's go to desktop. And where is our, our cup? Did I not save it to the right place? <clears throat> and it got saved to the wrong place. Let me uh, do that one more time. So we're going to do this and... Grab that one more time. Copy. And we're going to inspire, inspire cup. And we're going to save that. And let's put it over here on our desktop. That was where I messed up a little earlier. So let's go ahead and put it here, desktop. And there we go. Okay, now we've got it, I believe. So let's come back over here, grab, upload that image. <clears throat> go to my desktop. Um, there's our Inspire Cup. I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to click open, and it's going to upload, start uploading it into, um, into our, uh, onto our palette here for us to use and then bring over over here. Now, the other thing I want to do is um, I am going to actually click this and bring that into our available area as well. Like this. Now, the other thing I want to do is I want to add um, a bit of, uh, first off, you know what? I, I do not like this font. So I'm going to actually change this font. By the way, when you're choosing a font, I don't really care what font you use as long as it is easily readable from far away, okay? That's your what you want because going back to the lesson that that John taught, you want to make sure that people could easily read it whatever it is you're saying here just scrolling with their thumb on on a device or an iPhone or whatever. So let's go ahead and grab that catamaran black well let's probably make that a little smaller there we go and that's looking good all right now the other thing i want to do here is i'm going to add a uh, a headline like this we're going to go text and then add headline and i usually like to add uh, ask a question here in a headline like this And let's 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 say how's your faith? Question mark. All right, and we're gonna go with catamaran black, and we're gonna bring that up to the very top here of our image. And now I want you to notice something here. There's a, you see this big gap that, that you see between how's your and faith? We could actually close that up by clicking on uh, in the box and then coming up here to where it says spacing. And then I like to actually adjust this to 1.15. Um, and you could see it sort of uh, taking care of, of that, like that. There we go. And let's make that a little smaller. Let's see if we can get away with that. There we go, looking good. All right, now, 
couple couple other things I want to do here is I want to I have actually left this area down here of up and available for either branding to um, to a website um, like WW you'd put your your website here or some sort of call to action. Now since I'm I know that I'm going to be sending this um, off to uh, Carrie's uh, looks like her Etsy store here. Um, I'm going to just do a regular call to action. So let me go ahead and do that right now. Grab the cup on Etsy now. Okay. And we'll make that quite a bit smaller. Catamaran black, quite a bit smaller. Let's see if we can make that work and bring that down. And it's still a little too large, uh, I think, for this available area. So we're gonna need to make this a little smaller. Let's see, maybe an 18. No, what about a 16? Yep, that will work. Okay, all in one line, there we go. Now, still looking rather plain because it's just all black and white, which by the way is perfectly acceptable uh, because it's, it's super easy to, to read. But I wanna address this up slightly. Um, and the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to come over here to elements and then go to shapes and let's uh, go and choose a, a, a square like this. And we're going to put that up over here and let's, um, let's go with a nice sort of uh, purple color like that. Okay. And by the way, you're saying, well, Daniel, you just covered up the uh, <laughs> your, your dealio, right? Well, that's true, I did. I'm actually gonna cover this one up down here as well, but we're gonna fix that right now, okay? Let me just put that over that like that, kind of like a little banner. Now I'm going to click on it and then I'm going to go to arrange, okay? And send this to the back like that, okay? Now. The other thing, I, I'm not too sure I really like this uh, black on, on uh, purple. So I'm actually gonna change this to a white font and see how that looks. And as you can tell, um, and I think that looks pretty good. That kind of really stands out now. I think that's better, <clears throat> okay? And so we got that and the same thing down here. And let's put that send to back and that's cool and we're going to make that white as well like that okay so there you go um there's our image now the next thing is <clears throat> actually let me make let me bring this down a little bit and see if we can do it this way i'm going to bring that there, that look, that's better. You know, you because you could basically spend a lot of time if you wish. You don't really need to, by the way. Uh, just kind of making it as pretty as possible. Um, but once again, I think this is uh, for it. It demonstrates what I want to show you. Okay, now <clears throat> I said earlier. As a matter of fact, when we first got started, I said you need to be paying attention to nuances and subtleties. Now, I'm going to actually show you one of those. I'm, I'm just calling it to the forefront now so that you uh, are paying real close attention to your screen uh, because um, I've, just saved, I've just saved this image. Now I'm going to download it. And this is where you need to really pay especially close attention. Now I'm going to save this on my desktop, but I want to name the file some buyer keyword related to the under the the theme of the underlying pin. So we're going to say uh, Christian <clears throat> inspirational inspirational quotes mug cup okay <clears throat> why do i do this Any, anyone venture a guess why i am i am naming the image what 
uh, what this pin is all about. Exactly right. SEO, Jay, uh, and Amber, and, uh, and Matthew, and a bunch of others. Uh, exactly right. So you want your image to be found not only on, on Pinterest, but also on, uh, on Googly. Okay, so this is one way that you can uh, absolutely go about doing that. Now, let me go back over here to uh, to Pinterest and let's pin this bad boy. <clears throat> and uh, I'm going to show you yet another way to uh, to pin this. As you can tell, I'm kind of into standard poodles as well. Um, but I want to direct your attention to the top right hand corner where you see this little white cross here. I'm going to I'm going to uh click that and then create pin and then i'm going to upload my pin all right so i'm going to click there and <clears throat> go grab this pin for us right there where we there we go okay so there it is now uh for those of you that were wondering hey how do you how do you put the pin underneath this how do you put the the url underneath it well right here this is where you do it so i'm going to grab this copy and we're going to put it in here boom now the other thing i want to do is you notice this you have a room to put a description this is about 500 characters so there's not a lot of room so you can't like do a, a full article in here uh, but you can put another little call to action so uh, grab the mug grab this great mug on Etsy now. And sometimes I like to uh, grab additional copy. Let's see if there's any here. Um, and uh, let's see, we can, we can grab some of this essentially. Copy and we'll put that in there as well and <clears throat> let me just kind of take out some of these uh, spaces like that and we don't need that do we don't need that that can can be come out uh, get rid of that and do that okay cool now we're going to click done and it's going to give me once again um a number of choices of where i'm eligible to actually pin this pin now uh, if if carrie had a board maybe she already has boards uh she probably has some related to faith and faith-based parenting and and uh you know uh, raising godly children and, and things like that and i guarantee you there are boards exactly like that uh, I don't happen to be a member of those um, at the moment, so I'm actually going to add this to my articles and resources uh, board, which is this one right here. So I'm going to save that bad boy. So it just got saved. Let's see it now. <clears throat> and once again, how do we make uh, magic? Well, click the link, click the image, boom back over to where I could buy Carrie's mug today, right now, okay? So um, that's essentially how to go about setting this up. And the thing I wanted to show you here is, is that you can definitely make money doing exactly this on Pinterest. And in fact, the money, once you kind of set up the, um, uh, the campaigns, it just basically rolls in on autopilot. Now, John and I primarily use Pinterest and what we do on Pinterest for uh, for generating leads is because, as I said, we are primarily email marketers. That's what we're mostly interested in. But I said, John, we need to prove to people that you can make money directly off of Pinterest with this. And he says, no problem. I've got a couple things running. And as you can see here, he's um, he's come bringing in between six and seven hundred dollars every month, and he's not even trying to do that. And it's not just John, by the way. We've had literally thousands of students come through our program 
Uh, Felicitas happens to be one of them. And I love what she says here. I'm happy to report I've recovered more than I've paid for real, the Real Fast Pinterest course by being an affiliate. It's a set it and forget it kind of thing, really. And even Dennis Kashkin, who is the uh, founder and CEO of a SaaS program, a software as a service program called Board Booster, uh, he said some people earn up to $50,000 per month just from blogging and pinning. And he should know because he is working with some of the top bloggers in some of the multinational brands exclusively on Pinterest. And just to prove to you that you could sell anything on Pinterest, um, our, our friend and student Tom Antion said, uh, he cr actually created this typographic called 21 Reasons a Protection Dog is Better Than a Man and pinned it to one of his boards. And he's got this company. He's got a number of companies, but he's got this uh, company called Protection Dogs Elite. And each one of those dogs is $20,000. And he said that he has sold two, not one, but two $20,000 protection dogs as a result of this pin. So my question for you is, are you excited Do you have finally found a way to build your business on autopilot? Let me know in the chat if this is like ringing your bell, if you're like excited to see what, <laughs> that you could do this. While you do that, I'm gonna take a sip of water. Because <clears throat> I've been talking a lot. Kaching says, uh, Tracy, exactly. Uh, super excited, says uh, Julia. Ac absolutely. Uh, I'm so glad to hear that. Excellent. So what I wanted to do now is I wanted to take a few moments. Now, I'm not done teaching yet. Neither is John. But I want to take a few moments to introduce you to our Real Fast Social Graphics program, which I will tell you has been in existence in one form or another for about four and a half, almost five years now. Uh, but this has been completely updated for this year, 2018. And really what this is, is a total system for Pinterest success. And the best thing here is, is it's, this is specifically designed for people who are just like you and I, who are not particularly good at graphic designers or particularly good marketers. I mean, if you are a good designer, if you are you know, a halfway decent marketer, so much the better, but it is certainly not required for success with what we teach you within Real Fast Social Graphics. Because at its core, we teach you how to master money making by and through Pinterest. We do that in a variety of ways. The first thing we show you how to do is build images that practically beg to be shared over and over again. I'm gonna remind you that your link goes with it. Every time your link is shared, your link goes with it, wherever you want to send folks. And you may well have some outliers like we have, you know, 1.4 million repins on the on the Bob Harper graphic, for example. And we've had many others, not quite that good, but still stellar, uh, that have done, you know, really, really well as, as well. Now, I also said, and this is another crucial uh, issue, that most of the activity on uh, Pinterest is in the repin, right? So we actually show you how to repin for the win. That's what we call it. So we actually show you strategies for repinning and using existing images for maximum sharing and clicks, which by the way is a huge time saver and a money maker because you're using what's already been created. It's already up on Pinterest, but you're using it in, in, in totally different ways that not other people don't even think about, don't have no clue on how to, uh, to to do this, and you you won't you likely won't figure it out without us showing you, without without us showing you as well. So we're going to show you how to repin for the win. And the other really nice thing, I just love this, especially if you're putting out mugs and other print on demand products, because it is possible if you know where and when to look on Pinterest to discern trends in your niche. In other words, and they're they're actually they're they're actually hot on Pinterest before they're hot in the bigger, broader marketplace. So we show you how to identify those trends, and then further how to use those trends to drive traffic to your buy buttons and other offers. And of course, of course, 
Pinterest and, and e-commerce are basically a match made in heaven. So if you've got any kind of Amazon, Etsy, eBay, Shopify, or affiliate store, of course, we show you how to go about harnessing Pinterest to sell whatever your e-commerce uh, product is. So you get that. Plus, we show you how to go about creating effective pins, even if you are, <laughs> like John, or I, John and I, uh, tragically unartistic. Uh, and we, we show you how to use programs that you probably already have, things like PowerPoint um, and MS Word, which probably you already have on your machine. And even if you don't, let, let's say you hate Microsoft, or lots of people do, you don't want to use Microsoft products, that's fine. We actually show you tons of free resources like Pablo, TypeSlab, and I've already introduced you to Canva on how you could use these free services to create really, really great um, and engaging pins. Not only is that, uh, we're gonna show you how to do this very, very quickly. Basically make profits on just five minutes a day. So this is perfect for the busy person who has to get the maximum benefit out of a minimum amount of time, effort, and energy. Now, I'm willing to confess to you that many of the days I have gone to Facebook to quote unquote, I'm doing air quotes here, to engage with influencers and build my business only to two and three hours later. Uh, the only thing I've ever actually accomplished was liking a bunch of different people's posts and watching a lot of video. That's all I have done. That's not what we teach you how to do on uh, on Pinterest. We show you how to get on, do what you need to do to get results and get off. Okay. So you get that. Plus, if you're going to love this, by the way, we show you how to build a author platform or expert status. Um, so a couple of things I want to show you on this board. Uh, for example, in the top right hand corner, do you see Johanna Basford? You know what her claim to fame is? You know what she's doing? She's actually putting out adult coloring books and building you know a big fan base on pinterest with with and selling adult coloring books i'm not talking about the erotica i'm talking about you know the mandelas and the things that help you relax and the things that are you know in you know it stimulate your creativity etc and by the way if you have any kind of a blog I want to direct your attention to the the bottom um, right, uh, excuse me, the bottom left hand corner where you see the brown sugar food blog. You know, this person is is correctly using Pinterest to build a massive following for her blog to get more subscribers and of course more readers. So you're going to get that as well. And the other really interesting thing uh, that I want to introduce you to now, because I alluded to it a little earlier, are group boards. Uh, and I wrote here, group boards equals group love. And uh, I'm actually going to bring John back on to teach you more about group boards and why they're so doggone important. Um, so, John, could you tell folks why we cover group boards? Well, number one, what they are, why they're so important, and why it's such a it's such a uh, uh, an important part of real fast social graphics. Yes, Daniel. Uh, group boards are basically any board that you have that you invite other people to collaborate with you on that board. That's what a group board is. So you can, uh, with your own boards, create any one of them as a group board simply by inviting one more person or dozens of people to collaborate with you on that board. When they accept the invitation, then they're part of the group board. For example, I have a board called Blogging and Internet Marketing. You can see the red arrow there. and I created that board and I was just pinning to it and then I decided I'd make it a, a group board because I know a lot of people in internet marketing. So I invited people like Joe Com and Mike Koenigs and Jason Flatian and Daniel Hall and even the guy that founded Craigslist. And they all accepted and they pinned to that board. The neat thing is with the group board that you create, you control the look and feel of it, which is one of the things that Daniel likes about that group board because the group board features that key graphic. Pinterest is where viral book marketing lives. And that is showcased, that board is showcased on everybody who is a collaborator for that group board. And so that's really nice. Not only do you, the people that follow you see what's pinned to that board, but also all the people that follow all the other people that are part of that group board. 
So it's a way of magnifying your influence very, very quickly. It's also great to include a group board, um, you know, to join other group boards. And in the course, we actually teach you how to find the best group boards for your topic, for what you're selling, what you're offering, and how to get invited to those group boards. And that's even more important because it's easy to find the boards, but getting invited is another extra step that can be complicated. And we teach you exactly how to get invited to any group board you want to be invited to. And so group boards are really a great way to basically multiply your influ influence on Pinterest very, very quickly. So even if you only have a few followers, it's still magic. Absolutely. And that's the other cool thing about it is we also include, I, I said I said we're, we're, we're good friends with uh, Dennis Kashkin. Dennis owns Board Booster and, and basically he works with some of the top folks in uh, and on Pinterest, some of the top brands, multinational brands, in fact, and some of the top bloggers. And he knows some of the best practices that are very closely guarded, by the way. By the way, And we got him to do an exclusive Board Booster training that reveals quite a few of those. Plus, we got him to throw in a three-month free access to his automated software, which, by the way, is great. I think it's an excellent adjunct, but is not required for success within Real Fast Social Graphics. It's nice to have, but it's really not required. But here's the thing. I think you're going to love Board Booster. And if you do, after the, the three-month uh, trial that I negotiated for you, guess what? It's only $5 a month thereafter. So it's still very, very cost-effective if you want to uh, continue with it. Not, uh, not required, though, okay? So you're going to get that. Plus, we're going to show you how to build tribes on Pinterest. I'm always telling my own community that they need to be collaborating more with and cooperating more with folks that that are in their niche and that, that do things complementary to their niche. Well, we actually show you how to do that on Pinterest, and that's called building a tribe. And we show you how to turbocharge that peer-to-peer -peer sharing so that your pin gets shared even faster into a wider group of potential buyers. So you're going to get that as well. Oh, oh this you're going to love this. Okay. Uh, by the way, if you're not looking at your screen now, your computer, your monitor, come check this out because uh, I, I get excited about uh, showing folks this. The we we're going to actually show you how to piggyback on traffic from daily television shows uh, like Dr. Oz, Jimmy Kimmel, Ellen, and others. Because here's what we discovered. We discovered that if we posted a pin related to somebody that happens to be uh, appearing on one of these shows on a particular uh, day, that often, though not always, often we would see a spike in repins and traffic to our site. We saw it, we saw it enough. We're like, we finally identified it because again, we've been doing this for years, right? And we said, I wonder if there's a way if we could reverse engineer it. And, and actually do this on purpose. And we, in fact, figured it out. And this, this one module, actually, I could build, we could have built the entire course off this one module within Real Fast Social Graphics, but you get it included and it's worth many multiples of what we're going to ask you for uh, right now. So the really cool thing is, is that you can predict with some some degree of certainty, not, nothing's 100. percent There's no there's no guarantees in life, but there's there's definitely a good reason to believe that that if you know, and we're going to show you who's going to be on these shows before they appear, and who to choose from them before a person uh, appears, so that you can you can link back to one of your products. Okay. You could actually make the connection between somebody that's appearing on one of these shows and um, and uh, in your own products. We show you how to do that as well. And of course, you're going to get our personal help as well. We What we do is we have a private members only Facebook group, which you will get lifetime access to. Now, John and I have been talking about adding a $97 a month fee for this to be a member of this group. And if we do that, 
you will be grandfathered in, okay? So essentially what you're getting is about $1,200 in annual, um, in annual uh, coaching from us. And by the way, I don't know if you can notice down there where the little round pictures are, it says 800 members. Well, now we're well over a thousand mem members, but we have some really heavy hitters in this, uh, in this group. Uh, that help one another and, uh, and and very, very sophisticated, savvy marketers in this group too. And they get in and they pitch in and help. Um, so not only are you getting John and I, but you're also getting my staff. We have a full-time administrator um, in this, plus all these great folks that are using Real Fast Social Graphics to uh, to drive free traffic to whatever their, their uh, offers are. Now, the other thing that we do, because I realize that you want to hit the ground running, is we have some Canva training for you. I, I showed you just a little bit of it, but, but we're going to actually give you the whole thing, plus five done-for-you Canva Pinterest templates. So you could actually do that. You can actually be, be basically up and running 20 minutes from right now, okay? Right from right now, you could, you could be doing that. Now, if you've never seen a cinema graph, uh, come check out your computer screen right now because there's some, some good images, some good examples of cinema graphs. Because what we notice is on Pinterest that cinema graphs attract attention and clicks. So we said, wouldn't it be cool if we also had a training for folks that if they wanted to create their own cinema graphs, they could. And that's exactly what you're going to get. You're, this is a complete freestanding training on how you could use PowerPoint to create cinema graphs to use in your marketing. So you're gonna get that as well. And of course, we've had many successful students come through the Real Fast Social Graphics program. Judith happens to be um, another one of them. And I love what she says here. Uh, she says, I've just discovered that traffic to my Proofread NZ website has as of the 30th of November tripled from a very consistent eight year performance level. Now think about that for just a second. She's been bebopping along consistently for eight years. She starts using our program and she triples her amount of traffic. Yes, it can happen. I'm not promising you that, but it can happen and it's happened over and over and over again with our students. And when you understand, and, and John actually talked about this already, that, that Pinterest will actually do great things for you on the platform, you know, on Pinterest itself, but if you are creating useful, good quality pins, they'll actually email market for you as well. So um, here's another example of one of our students who just did doing really great. You see the, uh, where it says words and uh, it's highlighted there, words and 26 pins, it's highlighted in yellow there at the bottom of the page. This is one of our students and they actually sent this to, to John, as you can see here. So we're like, yes, they're actually promoting our students. Yeah, and so this has happened over and over and over again. So yeah, it makes sense that, that of course, people that have never heard of you do not follow you, but they're getting emails about your pins and showing them, uh, you know, other folks about your stuff. No wonder people are repinning and, 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 uh, and clicking over because Pinterest is doing this for you when you know how to create quality pins. Now, the other thing that we show you how to do here, and we have a number of different bonuses, we, we give you Facebook marketing for authors and experts to get more fans, the Twitter mania manual, the secret to building an incredibly fanatical following on Twitter, and how to use LinkedIn to promote yourself as an author or expert, find promotional partners, and build long lasting and useful relationships. You see, taken together, this is a social marketing suite for folks exactly like us, okay? E-commerce people, information product creators, internet marketers, authors, publishers of every type, okay? So you're gonna get the entire suite. Now you're probably saying to yourself, dang, this sounds great, what's the investment? Well, get this, when we put this on sale, when we put it on sale, we sell it for $497, but that is not your investment. In fact, if you go to this URL, it's in your, uh, it's it's in the chat right now, rachelrofay.com forward slash Pinterest. Um, that link is in your chat. You will see a whopping big discount. 
So if you, will somebody click on that link that's in the chat right now and, uh, and, and just let me know that that is working. Just let, let me know. Okay, great. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. Awesome. So as you can see, and by the way, I will, I will, I will say this, that um, if you are looking for the, the best available deal, that deal is the deal that's available right now. Said another way, I cannot guarantee that the price will stay what it is right now after today's presentation. So if you want this, my strong recommendation is to go ahead and grab it right now, rachelrofe.com forward slash Pinterest. And, and as you can tell, the investment real fast social graphics is exceedingly low. I mean, it's astonishingly low. But to put the value in perspective, John is getting approximately 4,000 free clicks a week. And let's say that he wanted to buy those clicks on Facebook. And let's say we were living in fairy tale land and we can buy those clicks at 25 cents a click. Now, I've never been able to get anywhere near that, but let's say you could. That's still essentially $1,000 in free traffic that is coming in. And here's the, here's the thing, the traffic just keeps coming. I mean, you can't even turn off the, the traffic. I mean, I suppose you could take down the site, that would turn it off, but that's about the only way I would know. So the place to go to grab this very special deal, rachelrofay.com forward slash Pinterest. That link is in your chat. Now, here's the other thing I want you to understand is that John and I are going to continue to deliver for you. You know, John has been in business for over 30 years. Now, I've been in business for over 10 years now. And one of the reasons why we love working with Rachel is that the three of us all understand that our success is directly related to yours. That's why we have had such staying power and why you will not be alone in your journey to our more profitable business. So again, the place to go, rachelrofay.com forward slash Pinterest, that link is in your chat. Now, the other thing that I bet you are wondering because I know some of you are saying, well, Daniel, of course, John, of course, you, you're getting great results because you have an audience. Well, the first thing I want to tell you is, uh, once again, Pinterest is not about following people. It's about following passions, okay? But if you are worried about not having an audience, we actually have what I consider to be the best bonus yet. So I'm going to bring John back on to tell him about our instant audience bonus. So, John, can you tell folks about this bonus yeah daniel you know we talked about the power of group pages uh you know uh group boards uh equaling group love and so what i did is i created four special boards exclusively for the use of people that are part of real fast social graphics each of these boards has somewhere between 5,000 and 6,000 followers so you automatically when you pin to any of these group boards you're being exposed to five to 6,000 people like that. So even if you only have 10 followers, you have 5,000 followers once you join a group board. One of them is called Tips, Tips, Tips. It's all about uh, typographics and sharing tips. Another one is called Great, uh, what is it called? Motivational and Inspirational Quotes. And it's for a quote graphics of uh, any kind where you're, uh, sharing inspirational, funny, and motivational quotes. The other two are, one is for great products for women, and the other is great products for men, so that you can reach out to two major audiences. Actually, right now, those are the two major audiences, men and women, although some people are trying to invent multiple other sexes. Anyway, <laughs> it's a priceless thing. It gives you an instant audience right away. And the neat thing is, is the boards, that people follow, it's not necessarily always the, the people themselves, but it's the boards, it's what they're passionate about. And there's five to 6,000 people who have raised their hands and said, I love tips, I love motivational quotes, I love great gifts for women, I love great gifts for men. So you have a ready-made built-in audience for what you have to promote. Excellent. Th thank you, John. I appreciate it. By the way, yep. once again, that link is at rachelrofay.com forward slash Pinterest. Folks are asking in the chat um, where the link is. It's, it's in the chat, which is another line item. If you're here live with us right below the questions, 
you'll see you'll see one says says questions and one says chat. If you open that up, you'll see the link in there, and you just click on it. Or if uh, if you if you'd like, just open up a browser window and and head over to Rachel Rofe. Uh, dot com forward slash Pinterest. Okay. Um, and I've just, uh, I wanted to highlight again, some of, uh, of John's accomplishments and maybe you've heard of Deepak Chopra, uh, using uh, John's strategies. Uh, he took Deepak from basically being a vanity press author to being a New York times bestseller, uh, more than eight times over. And, um, and Joel Kahn, uh, another New York Times bestselling author says Kramer's the go-to go guy for marketing books. No duh, of course that. But also, <clears throat> Kramer's tips and resources are excellent for promoting books. But you you could use many of the techniques and strategies for prom for promoting a variety of other goods and services. Highly recommended. And I know some of you are saying, well, dang, this sounds great. How quickly can I see results? Well, I wanted to highlight another one of our students, Rhonda who says uh, results update yesterday, and by the way, pay particularly close attention to dates and times here. Results update yesterday, July 2nd, I enrolled in the, this course, watched the videos and started implementing. The doing part was like late in the afternoon. I had no Pinterest traffic for the last month. No surprises, I hadn't used as a source. But drum roll please, 23.5% of my traffic yesterday came from Pinterest, okay? So, so to break that down, she didn't get started until late in the afternoon, probably didn't get her first pin up until early that evening, maybe a little later on that evening, we don't know. But what thing is for sure is that essentially within a 24 hour period of time, she increased the traffic to her site by 23.5%. That's impressive. So that's what I want you to understand that is possible with using our methods within Real Fast Social Graphics. So the place to, to uh, join us, Real Fast Social, excuse me, rachelrofay.com forward slash Pinterest. That link is in your chat. And one other thing, if you are a novelist, we actually add uh, this, just added this bonus on promoting your novel with Pinterest. And I wanted to show you this, um, that, that Pinterest and, and our process works worldwide. Uh, I actually took the APIs of 250 of our buyers, because that's all this particular system would allow us to, and, and uploaded it. So you could see we we have buyers um, and, and students all across the United uh, the, the United States, North America, uh, South America, all over Europe, and um, and in the the Far East, Middle East, and every place in between. So this works regardless of where you are in the world. So the place to go, rachelrofay.com forward slash Pinterest, that link is in your chat. And I'm going to, we're gonna start taking questions here in just a moment, but I, I wanted to just leave you with this. This is a really important thing, that the greatest thing about Pinterest, in my opinion, uh, is not only that it's effective, which it most certainly can be, but it's fun. It's not like, uh, it's it's not drudgery to to actually work with Pinterest and, and play on Pinterest. So that makes a big difference, you know, motivation wise, because you're having fun while you're doing your marketing instead of, you know, drudgery and and having a not so good of a time. So that's the that's the final thought I want to leave you with. And now we're going to start in on, on questions. Uh, the place to go, rachelrolfray.com forward slash Pinterest. And uh <clears throat> I just uh, I just saw oh my gosh uh, I just saw all of the uh, the orders that have started to come in holy cow so um, I'm going to start thanking folks uh, here in just a second um, by the way if you have just uh, uh, if if you have joined us uh, already um, I want to first off thank you for that um, and I'm going to start uh, uh, just thanking folks uh, individually for example I want to uh, thank uh, Stacy and EL Products LLC. I don't know who you are, but uh, welcome to you. Welcome to the fold. Um, and <clears throat> more of you just joined up now. Blah, blah. All right. Well, let me, let's 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 handle some questions first here, and then I'll get back into thanking folks. Um, <clears throat> all right. So, do you see questions here that uh, have been um, um, uh, have been marked, uh, John? Let's see. Start process. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I've uh, noted a number of them. One of the questions was, uh, what percentage of product-related pins to general content pins should we do? 
And I, I said a good a ratio is one in 10. In other words, promote once out of 10 pins that you do because you want, Pinterest like other social networks is social and you want to be a real person on Pinterest. So it's good to pin things that you love to boards that you have uh, and not just promote, promote, promote. Um, it, it doesn't do well to just promote, promote, promote. It's good to be a real person on Pinterest as well. So one in 10, th that means uh, once or twice a week, you pin a money pin, something that will give you money. The rest of the time, you're just a real person on Pinterest having fun. Awesome, excellent. Um, all right, and um, again, the place to go, rachelrofay.com forward slash Pinterest. That link is in your chat. I've got uh, more folks to uh, to thank that have just uh, jumped in. Um, I think I stopped on uh, EL products. Uh, next um, is uh, Ruby Concepts Limited. Thanks to you and welcome to you. Appreciate you being here. Um, and Gourmet Gourmetrics. Um, I want to welcome you to the fold um, as well. By the way, if you are one of the many folks that um, has already gotten in here, uh, could you please do me and, and everyone else a favor and, and let us know um, in, in the chat why you have taken action on your own behalf today? Why you have, you, have you invested in yourself by investing in Real Fast Social Graphics? And what are you hoping to get out of this program? And um, and I will, I'm going to read back some of these responses because <clears throat> um, that's uh, uh, it's, it's going to help other folks. We have like well, you know, we have hundreds of people here now um, that want to hear about why you're making the decision that you're making. Um, and uh, the other thing I want to do while we while you do that um, is I want to actually show you the the members area. So you see what you're getting, right? Um, and, and this is essentially it. Uh, so <clears throat> as soon as you go to rachelrofay.com forward slash Pinterest, um, this will, uh, in, in go through the checkout process, you're gonna, you're gonna land in this, uh, in, in the members area, this, this dashboard that you see here. A couple things I wanna show you about it. Number one is that everything is all on one page. So it's easy to navigate you will not get lost, but here's the thing. Each one, each one of these power pinning, uh, this, uh, this uh, major section, you know, you can see all of the, of the videos uh, in training there. How to create pins, there you go. Um, building your followers and Pinterest profile, there you go. Monetizing Pinterest, minute training sessions. We'll talk more about that in a second. We got a bonus section here as well. Now, the other thing I wanted to uh, just uh, do for those folks <clears throat> um, that are, are interested in this, uh, for, for example, we appeal to just about any learning um, approach or, or pr preference. So for example, most of, not all, but most of the modules have both a video, they all have videos, but they also, uh, many of them have PDF downloads so that you could follow along what's in the, in the video as well as in the, in, the, uh, in the PDF document. And many times we actually include uh, additional samples for you to play with and to, uh, and to actually use what we're teaching in, in a particular um, module. Okay, so that's, uh, that I want you to understand that. So you just, you know, you can kind of click around and you can see all on one page. It's just real easy to, to get over and um, and and get to the training that you desire, um, and <clears throat> by the way, you get lifetime access or uh, lifetime. Uh, I'm, who, whose lifetime are we talking about? Uh, we you have access for the foreseeable future. Okay, let me just see it. Uh, just say it that way. So you can go at your own pace. Um, you don't have to be here at any particular time. But J John and I are essentially in the Facebook group every uh, essentially every day. So in fact, I'm gonna show you the Facebook group. I'm gonna open, uh, open this in another link here, um, <clears throat> another tab. So what you're gonna do here is, uh, as you can see here, we have over uh, 1,700 members. So you're gonna join here and um, this, is, this is what you're going to be, um, 
interacting with us and, and having fun with us here um, within the Facebook group. And as you can see, we have a very active, very, uh, uh, very robust uh, Facebook group. Now, the other thing I want to show you, and we're very proud of this, by the way, is our big, beautiful orange button that you see here that says, click here to request, request a training. So John, can you tell folks why we have this, this big, beautiful orange button? Yeah, the main reason we have it is that, you know, we have some complicated training, a little bit of things that you might have to look at more than once just to understand it and really get the idea of what to do. But if you ever have something where, you know, as I created most of the videos that are in the course, and if I'm not clear, I want you to ask a question. I want you to be clear about it. And so you can ask for more training. Our course on the two lessons for novelists and how to you know, make money on Pinterest as a novelist was because somebody requested a training. I'm working on a training for children's book authors. I also created a training for food bloggers and people that write about food or have food products. So we want to create training that is useful to you. And that's why I love that big orange button. Yeah, and absolutely. again, you don't have to just do it there. You can also ask in the Facebook area because I pay attention to that as well. And I'm always there every day uh, answering people's questions and you know, really helping people out. Absolutely. So the, really the point that I, what we want to make here is this isn't, we just, we don't just sell you into a members area and then leave you to your own devices. We, this is a, this is a robust, dynamic and growing program based on your needs. Okay. So uh, that's, that's what's so cool about it. We, you know, as I said, this is a, we've, we've been doing this for almost five years. Okay. Uh, with with this program, so we've learned quite a bit in those five years. I mean, that's basically an eternity on online. So uh, yes, the place to go right over here for those folks asking, rachelrofay.com forward slash Pinterest. That link is in your chat. You can just click on it. By the way, that's why I keep saying it's in the chat. If you could, if you if you find the chat, you can just actually click on it from the chat, and it will open up and um, uh, come come on over. Um, <clears throat> okay, and wow, more, I just, just checked, um, a bunch of new orders just came in, um, and I want to, um, Daniel, a couple yes. of people actually told us about why they joined in. Okay, and, do, do uh, tell, let's, uh, who, uh, why don't Ernie, you Ernie said, you know, he's part of e &L Products, and he joined because he said he's, this is the, by far the best thing I have found, and I'm glad I made it to the webinar. So he's really happy. Stacy wants to get promoting now for, you know, uh, I believe for Christmas in the fourth quarter. And uh, Jay Callender, I'm not sure what her first name is or his first name, uh, said that they let their uh, Pinterest account sit for a couple of years. And then they came back and they found out that some of their pins had taken off. And now they definitely, you know, they found that this is a social net network that really works, and that's true. It really drives traffic, and it's great. Uh, Richard said it's perfect timing because he has a new Shopify set site nice. just set up, and Shopify and Pinterest work hand in hand. In fact, oh you gosh, can great. sell yeah. directly on Pinterest. People don't even have to leave Pinterest to buy from your Shopify store. It's all incorporated within Pinterest. It's wonderful integration. Yeah, and, and by the way, I mean that's one of the things that um, that I love about what Rachel has done with uh, with folks in setting up print on demand businesses, especially for mugs and and uh, <clears throat> and uh, linens and and jewelry and just all the great stuff um, that uh, that she's got and has taught folks how to do. But th that's why it's it it's great to be on those sites, but it's also great for more eyeballs. For more more people to know that you actually exist and what you have so again the place to go rachelrolfray.com forward slash pinterest and uh i want to we have a number of folks another number of new folks that just joined us uh, i think i left off on gore, gore metrics um i want to uh, thank one one day one images photography welcome to you i want to uh i want to welcome andy p uh, into the fold. Welcome to you. I really appreciate you being um, with us. 
uh leela uh i'm i i think i think i know you leela <laughs> um so welcome i'm glad i'm glad you're back with us um and let's see richard welcome to you and more folks uh, joining us right now the place to go rachelrofay.com forward slash pinterest all right um <clears throat> Let's see. Daniel, and, we had yes. another question. A lot yes. of people are wondering, should I have a Pinterest profile and a business profile, two different accounts, or should I just have one? And, you know, and they're confused about those things. And my, personally, I have one account because uh, I use the boards, the special interest boards, to drive traffic to my different special interest websites. And that works really well for me. And it means I don't have to have multiple accounts and trying to figure out how they're working and tracking them and creating lots of different boards for each one. I like having one account, which was a personal account, and then I switched it to a business account. And it makes it so much easier to work on Pinterest and use Tailwind or uh, Board Booster or other services uh, and only have one account to do that. So I prefer having one account a business Pinterest account, but I also share all the things that I love, all my personal passions and so on, because I love sunsets and sunsets, I mean, and sunrises, so I share that on a board. Uh, but I still get a lot of traffic to my money boards where I make the money and I sell people, they come to my websites, I sign them up and so on. Absolutely. Okay, great. Thank you for that, and I, I really, really appreciate the, the, these uh, responses. Um, and uh, Thomas is asking, how long will this offer be on? Well, uh, I, I, I'm not sure, but it probably will be up um, for several days. However, once again, I want to remind you that if you want the best currently available deal, uh, that I would strongly recommend that you you grab uh, this right now because again I can't guarantee that it's going to last uh, after today's presentation, um, well, our live presentation. And number two, we always hope that there's going to be a replay, but sometimes the the webinar gods do not smile on us. We cannot get a recording, and we don't have a replay. So once again. If you're here with us live and you've, and you've made the decision to go ahead and grab this uh, special deal, um, I would just go ahead and grab it right now. And yes, we do have a 30-day money-back uh, guarantee. Well, it's very seldom exercised because we do take such good care of um, our, our folks. Um, and the place to go, rachelrofay.com forward slash Pinterest. Um, and Daniel, another yes, question sir. came in uh, from Richard. He says, are there any costs with Pinterest? There doesn't have to be. I haven't spent any money on Pinterest. I am going to test advertising just to see how that works. And, you know, but there aren't any costs. Everything, all the traffic that I've gotten thus far has been because organic traffic, free organic traffic. And that's what I love about Pinterest is that I can get so much good traffic without having to pay for it. But I am going to test out advertising because I want to do a lesson on it for the class. And uh, David uh, asked a question also. He says, can it be used for CPA traffic? And yes, because it's traffic. Any traffic that you want to send, you can send to any page you want to send it to. So it can be used for uh, Google Ads. It can be used, you know, AdSense. It can be used for whatever you want to generate traffic with. And, you know, that's one of the neat things about it, because it really is a traffic generator. Yep. Um, and wow, more more folks just um, just uh, jumped in. Um, so I wanted to thank them. Um, the let's see, the Westport Trust uh, has uh, jo joined us. Um, Jolene C uh, has uh, just joined us. So welcome to Westport Trust. And Jolene uh, C, I really appreciate uh, that. Um, and Benji asked a great question. She says, um, can I get invited, accepted to a group board, even with only two followers? What is the difference um, of personal and business accounts? So two questions there for you, uh, John. Okay. Um, you can be, I, I often, I don't check out people's followings before I invite them to one of my group boards. What I look for is, is what are they pinning? Are they are they good? Are they a good Pinterest uh, citizen? 
And so I like people that aren't just promoting. I like real people that are doing things. So I, that's what I check out when I'm inviting somebody to a, a group board, other than those four group boards that you can automatically get invited to if you're a part of Real Fast Social Graphics. The difference between a personal and business account is essentially a business account allows you to get more statistics and it allows you to do advertising. I don't believe you can advertise unless you have a business account. Um, and the statistics that they give you are better than what you would get uh, with a personal account. So I would recommend that you have a business account. Uh, whether or not you want to have a personal account separate from that, I wouldn't recommend it because it's just more work. I like everything in one place. I like to combine work and play. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, all right. And uh, yeah, the, the place to go, by the way, is uh, right there, rachelrolfay.com forward slash Pinterest. We have a bunch of new folks that have just joined us and I want to welcome you um, as well. I think I, I think I ended here with Janice. Uh, so, or maybe I didn't. No, I don't think I did. I, didn't, I don't think I did welcome Janice. So Janice, uh, Janice G, welcome to you. Christine T., a welcome to you. Um, really appreciate you being here. And uh, I love another question here came from came in from Cami, who says um, <clears throat> or asked the question: I have a directory site of overnight host ho uh, horse, excuse me, horse hotels. Would love to drive a lot of traffic to it ASAP. What is the best way to get a lot of traffic right out of the gate? You have, uh, I bet you have a lot of suggestions on, on this. Yeah, I mean, you know, find some good horse group boards to join that other people have. Create one or two of your own and invite other horse lovers to your group board. And of course, create some good typographics. Like, you know, what are the four things you should look for in a good horse hotel? Uh, what are the four, th you know, four or five things that, uh, you should do when you stay at a horse hotel. Uh, what a, you know, so you can create different kinds of typographics and people that love horses and travel with horses would love that kind of things. A typographic on how to travel with horses. What are the best things to do? There are a lot of different opportunities there. Now, Jennifer also asked, uh, Jennifer asked, uh, can we switch our current boards over to a business account? You can switch. Uh, either your personal account to a business account, or you can switch your boards to a business account and keep your personal account. I think there's a way to do it, but I think it's kind of complicated. I just recommend you have a business account and just do that. And uh, it's easy to create a business account. All you have to do is click, I want a business account. I mean, it's almost that simple. And uh, it makes it so much easier. Again, somebody's asking, what's the difference between the two accounts? The main account difference is that a business account allows you to advertise and it gives you more statistics than a personal account does. That's the two main differences. Absolutely. And of course, it's better to have more of those stats. Uh, so that's the reason why <clears throat> you want, uh, want, want the business account. Uh, so yeah, you just switch from uh, personal to business, and yeah, we have uh, training on how to do that. It's really not uh, not difficult at uh, at all. Uh, I have more folks to uh, to thank, and I and I I want to I want to definitely do that. Um, I want to thank uh, Luann L. Uh, so welcome to you, Luann, and uh, I also want to thank uh, Peaks Publishing Inc. Uh, I don't know who you are, but you know who you are, and I, I want to get to know who you are. Uh, so welcome to you, as well as Great Value SG LLP. So welcome to uh, to you. So <clears throat> and more folks uh, just just join us. We'll we'll uh, uh, we'll thank them in just a moment. So um, one of the other things I wanted to do here is uh, uh, if if you have just joined us. I'd really appreciate if you would again let us know what you want to. Why did you make the decision to uh, to join us, and what um, are you hoping to get out of the Real Fast Social Graphics program? Um, and I, because we have, like as I said, hundreds of people here uh, that want to hear why you know your rationale. They want to they want to know why you've 
uh, taken this action to invest in yourself uh, by investing in this program. Uh, so again, rachelrofe.com forward slash Pinterest. Um, Peggy says uh, that, uh, that that she got in today she's, uh, because she's been on, uh, on Pinterest, but she's been totally clue clueless up until now. <laughs> so yay. Welcome to you. Well, you're definitely you're definitely going to go from a uh, a white belt into a black belt ninja. Okay. Um, the really uh, neat thing is is that Pinterest is so flexible. It's really easy to uh, you know start from today and fix anything that you've done wrong. Like you know, Kevin said, well, I've only created boards to promote my own products, and he he says I feel like a bad Pinterest user. But the fact is, it's easily correctable from today. You just create some more boards. And, you know, uh, if you have a Pinterest account, a uh, personal account, it's easy to switch to business. It's so easy to start pinning effectively, uh, whereas you may have been just sort of scattershot uh, pinning, pinning. And, uh, you know, what we're teaching you is really the powerful way to pin. And, uh, you know, I have, a you know, that uh, blogging and internet marketing board uh, group board with about 75 people on it and I watch how what people pin to it and so many of them are pinning the wrong stuff and they're not getting the traffic and if they pinned good tipper graphics they would get so much more traffic and uh, I haven't corrected them on it yet but it's interesting to watch what they're doing and see how they're not doing it correctly to get the kind of traffic they could get. Uh, Richard asked, how long are each of the video videos or lessons? We try to keep them between five and 10 minutes. There are a couple that are longer, but most of the lessons are five to 10 minutes. I try to get in and out with good, succinct information, but it all, most of them also come with a PDF of the lesson so that you can follow along or you can just simply read it if you're not a video person. Exactly. Um, yeah, and by the way, the place to go, rachelrofe.com forward slash Pinterest. Uh, and that link is in your chat. So you can just easily click uh, click on it from the chat and then it'll open up into a browser and then you can just uh, finish up your, uh, complete your transaction. Uh, and I, I really, uh, there was a great question here. Oh, from AJ who said, <clears throat> who says, uh, how were you able to pin pictures of Dr. Oz and, and Kimmel, et cetera, when you talked about an upcoming TV shows, I'm still confused about that. Um, well, it's, we're not pinning. We're not pinning Jimmy or uh, or Dr. Oz or any. Uh, basically, we are identifying who is going to be on one of those shows that has some crossover. Maybe they've said something that we that we like. So we have, but but they but they're somehow associated or can be associated with. Um, what your pro the, what the product that you're selling. Uh, so we show you how to figure out who's going to be on a show, then how to choose a celebrity or usually uh, it's either a celebrity or an author um, and, and how to do a pin about that that actually then relates to, you know, what you're doing. So that I hope that answers uh, your question. Of course, there's more nuances to it, more uh, more steps to it, but that's the that's the general concept, okay, AJ? Uh, let me know if that does not answer your question. Um, and a um, bunch of new folks have uh, just joined us. I want to um, uh, I, I want to thank uh, Bonnie P. Uh, welcome to you, and Barbara L. Welcome to you. We really appreciate you uh, joining us. Um, <clears throat> And other other questions here. Do you see other questions? Let's see here. Uh, yes. Uh, one of the things that uh, <laughs> one person asked was, what is the effect of Google rankings when you have all this pin traffic coming to your website? And in my experience, my Google love and my Bing love goes up tremendously. And I get a lot of SEO traffic because I'm getting all the Pinterest traffic. The search engines love traffic. So if they see that your website's getting a lot more traffic, they're gonna favor your blog post and your uh, articles and so on over somebody else who isn't getting any traffic. Exactly. So for SEO. Exactly. 
Um, and that's one of the reasons why going back to, I wanted to show you that you need to be naming your, your, uh, your images after buyer keywords. Okay. Which we, of course we take you through and show you, um, how to do within, within the training as well. Uh, by the way, Jolene, um, also jumped in today and she says, uh, I spent a lot of money on Facebook advertising, uh, you and me both kid, um, with, uh, with few results. Also have bought some very expensive courses. Um, I sell one or two items a day, but have never been able to really actually make money. I have products on Etsy and Amazon and a couple of Shopify stores. Hope to get the traffic I need to make this successful. Um, well, again, thank you so much for sharing that, Jolene. Um, I, I will say this, um, that uh, while, while there are no guarantees in life, there's no guarantee I'm going to take my next breath, for example. Um, I feel very, very comfortable with saying that that this is, it's highly probable to be exactly what you need uh, for, for selling um, more of, of, of that, uh, whatever it is you're selling, okay? So thank you for sharing that. I really, really appreciate that. Um, let's see here. Oh. <clears throat> Cammy's asking, what is a realistic time to have a thousand plus people per month visiting my website? Uh, completely up to you. <laughs> so there's no, it, it is. Uh, it's, it's really completely up to you. And, um, and yeah, go ahead, John. Go ahead. Well, it, it, you know, it's a matter of how you create your typographics and how well you do with that. And the neat thing is, is that if you're on one of the group boards, I'm always looking at the group boards and if I see that you've pinned something that isn't up to snuff or could be more effective, I will actually tell you that. And I will tell you how you can improve it because I want you to succeed. You know, that's one of the things that both Daniel and I want is for the people that take this course to be successful because that's how we sell more. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Um, yeah, exactly. So, um, so there you go, Cammie. Um, and, then, right. and then she asked, she says she has a Pinterest account for her horse gift store. And she wonders if she needs a second one for the horse hotels. And I would say no, uh, create different boards for that and create multiple boards, you know, so you could have, you know, horse blankets, you could have horse saddles, you could have horse food, you could have uh, horse travel, you know, so you can have lots of different targeted boards that will draw people in. Because in my experience in today's world, it's not just whether or not somebody's following you, it's far more important whether or not they follow one of your boards that's targeted to what you're selling. And quite honestly, Pinterest is focusing more on the actual pins that you create than on your profile in terms of sending traffic to you. Uh, so in today's world, it's much more important to have, you know, specific targeted boards and specific targeted pins, uh, but also be a real person. Absolutely. And by the way, <clears throat> we've been going for over two two hours and fifteen minutes. Um, so I will I will just say that um, we will we're going to be we're going to be closing up shop here um in uh, in a few minutes so that if you've kind of been waiting on the sidelines um waiting sort of for your your last chance uh to to take action um i would i would just say that now would be the time to to go ahead and and uh, and grab this deal uh the link is in your your chat so if you've been waiting for me to say that uh, there I've said it we were going we're going to be ending here um, very very shortly um, so <clears throat> again the place to go rachelrofay.com forward slash Pinterest okay um, and uh, I really uh, really appreciate uh, what uh, Nancy says uh, she says uh, that she got in today because knowing how to use Pinterest effectively will help me to do a better job marketing my print on demand products. Also, I have great faith in Rachel Rofay's recommendations. So thank you so much for saying that. I too have great faith in Rachel's um, recommendations. Um, that's why it's such an honor and a privilege to get to, uh, to present to you 
Um, but uh, but I know in my heart of hearts that this absolutely works, okay? Um, so the place to go right there, rachelrolfay.com forward slash Pinterest, okay? Um, let's see. Daniel, you know, this is really, you know, Pinterest is so, so effective in terms of promoting products, books, and even services. People come to Pinterest because they're looking for things that they're passionate about. And, you know, given what you told me about Rachel and, and you know, her helping people to set up stores and things like that, Pinterest is a perfect thing for uh, driving traffic to stores, uh, whether it's an Etsy store, a Shopify store, or something else. I mean, it's just really incredible. And I actually, uh, Daniel, you don't know this, but I'm working on a couple new lessons on how to drive traffic to stores. It's going to be really, really good. Excellent. So, so you're you're going to get that uh, as well. Um, and by the way, you know that's the other thing I should show you here uh, quickly that we have these uh, what we call these minute training sessions. So sometimes people will ask questions and we're like, well, it's not not really, uh, you know, it doesn't warrant a a major uh, you know module on it. So we do these like little uh, little minute training sessions that kind of show folks how to. Uh, to do some of the things uh, that they want to do. So you get that and that's uh, that's in there as well. Okay, so um, right here, real fast, uh, or excuse me, rachelrofay.com forward slash Pinterest. And I think we've answered most of the questions. Um, yes, uh, most of them. Uh and so, you know, we hope to, Greg is asking if it'll be okay to by tomorrow and we hope it will be <laughs> yeah we we we, we, cer we certainly hope uh, that hope that is the case by the way we've had several folks ask if they could use a credit card um and the answer is yes uh, let me just really briefly show you how to do that actually i'm going to the chat right now and and click on that link for us uh it the, here it is right here in fact this is the the page you should be um be looking at by the way, if you have any issues with uh, with ordering or have questions or whatever, we don't hide. Here's our here's our office telephone number. Um, this is uh, this goes to our Google voicemail. Uh, so and we're we're on the other end of it, right? So you could just uh, dial 512-814-8361. And if you're having problems with ordering, you could uh, you know leave us your credit card information there, or just have us call you back and we can run it for you. Okay. Um, the other thing I wanted to show you as well is if I click this link, <clears throat> it will come over uh, to this site here, and you're going to put in your email list, uh, or excuse me, your email address there and your telephone number right there. And then if you click Invest in Real Fast Social Graphics today, <clears throat> it will uh, actually take us over to... Um, to PayPal, uh, as you can see here. Now, if you have a PayPal account, you could just log in and pay with your PayPal funds if that's what you wanna do. Or if you don't like PayPal or you don't have a PayPal account or you just wanna use a credit card, you just you just click right here where it says pay uh, with a credit or debit card. And it'll just bring up your, uh, just a regular old um, <clears throat> secure site. Uh, where you can put in you know your credit card and all this other stuff. This is all run as you can see here um, on uh, directly on PayPal. So that's how that's how that works and is done. Okay, so I wanted to make sure folks knew about that. So any anything else? Anything else that we need to um, um, uh, actually uh, add here? Let's see. Uh, I know that Jennifer, she says she's going to use it for her adult coloring books. Oh, excellent. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and that would be very, very effective. Yes. Um, and, and then Phil asked, if we have a horse saddle board, for example, is there a way to let viewers know that we also have boards for horse food, horse travel, et cetera? Um, not directly, but you could uh, 
you could actually pin an image saying, we've got many horse boards. We've got horse saddle, horse food, horse travel, et cetera. And over a week's time, you could pin it to the different boards that you have so that uh, if somebody lands on your board, they can see, oh, wow, you do have other boards. Let me check them out. Many people will actually click on your, you know, your profile and find out what else you do if they're really passionate about the one thing you've done. And so a lot of times they will just do it on their own. But if it doesn't, then you know, create a, a pin image that says we've got horse boards, you know, on saddles, food, travel, etc. And then just pin it to all the different boards so people can find you. But do it over a week or two so that you're not just inundating everybody with the same pin. Yep. Okay. Um, so, yes, um, uh, Phil's asking, uh, also asking about the replay. Um, <clears throat> yes, uh, if, the, if the tech gods are smiling on us, hopefully we will have a, uh, have a replay. So um, I want to... Um, I want to really thank um, uh, Rachel for putting uh, this fine group of folks together. I know that she's been uh, she's been traveling extensively, and and uh, she's uh, she's she's at the at, at, you know have, having some uh, uh, she's tired essentially. She's got jet lag, so I really appreciate you putting this on, even even though that you knew that that was going to happen. I I really appreciate you, uh, Rachel, and I want to thank everyone that. Uh, that uh, came today, um, and if, uh, if if this is something that uh, that that appeals to you, if you're still here and you've not yet taken action, all I could say is that for those of you that have taken action, I have this prediction for you. Uh, I predict that one year from right now, you will look back on today's date and say, "This was the best business decision I've made in a very long time." Uh, and that's and that's not just marketing hyperbole. That's really how I feel about it in my heart of hearts. So um, if you'd feel that way, head on over to grab this very special deal, rachelrofay.com forward slash Pinterest. So with that, I'm going to turn things back over to you uh, to close us out for today, um, John. And, and if uh, Rachel is uh, within earshot, uh, maybe she'll pop back on. Um, but back over to you, John. Yeah, I also wanted to uh, thank Stephanie because she's been in the background and Anthony answering questions as well as myself. So it's really helpful when that you have those people in the background uh, taking care of those kinds of things. But I also want to welcome, you know, and thank all the people that come. I hope you will take advantage of this special offer because it will change how you market things. It will really make a difference in building your audience. So I hope to see you in our Facebook group, and I hope to even create some special training just for you. So thanks for coming, and I'm sure you're going to be amazed at the difference it makes, even just by listening to this webinar. But there's so much more in the course itself. And uh, so I hope you can make it uh, by going to rachelrofe.com slash Pinterest. Oh, wow. Uh, Jiffy Yay! Calendar just said that she made her first Canva pin. Yay! Boom. Well, there you go. I love action takers. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Jay. Appreciate that. Okay, yeah. so we'll, uh, we'll, we'll see you in the members area and in the Facebook group. Go now, rachelrofe.com forward slash Pinterest. Thank you all. Yes, and I am, I am an earshot, guys. Thank you very much for being here, giving such great content. We've been getting comments all night about people. I'm uh, just really excited about everything that you've shared. So thank you for taking the time and coming here and helping all these people out. Um, guys, if you haven't signed up and you want to learn more about Pinterest, this is a really great course. We're actually going through it ourselves we've been taking notes anyone who ends up purchasing i will shoot you my notes as well as a bonus so that you can have them and you have all the different types of content to learn from wow thank you rachel really really appreciate that <laughs> that's that's an awesome bonus uh could you share your notes with me when you're <laughs> yeah 
they're really good. <laughs> yeah, I yes. know you're, you're excellent at taking notes. I know how good they are. That's why I was asking for them. That's excellent. Thank you so much for that. I really, really appreciate it. And thanks, Rachel, for for uh, uh, for for putting on uh, this um, this great uh, this this great group and uh, this wonderful audience. Awesome. Yeah, I'm glad everyone came. So I guess with that, we will end this. Thank you, everyone, for coming. Thanks again to Daniel and John and Anthony for being here in the background and Stephanie and have a great rest of your day wherever you are and hope to see you inside the course and be shooting you these notes.